Have you ever wondered about a woman's clit? Did you know that the clit has legs? I actually didn't know this. I had one for 40 some years before I found out, but it's really fun. This is Reed Mahaka from readaboutsex.com. Hi, this is Kathy Bartuli from theintimacydojo.com. And <laughs> today we're talking about the clitoral legs. They're amazing. They are amazing. Um, so without jumping to you know graphs or, or diagrams or whatnot, um, what I can recommend is a book by Sherry Winston. It's called The Anatomy of Female Arousal. Um, and this is where I learned, I think, where I first learned about the clitoral legs was from Sherry. So the basic idea is that um, the clit, if, if this were the clitoris, um, coming off of the clit are what, what are called the clitoral legs. And they're underneath the labia. Mm -hmm. um, and they're one of the reasons why when uh, somebody who has a vulva is getting aroused and the erectile tissue in the clitoris is, is all um, engorged, why the labia of the pussy can seem like more puffy. Yeah. And the, the blood and the color like changes because there's more blood, blood flow there. Why this is important for, for those of us who like to play mm -hmm. with vulvas, and maybe the, the vulva that you're playing with <laughs> is your own, yes. um, is that those clitoral legs are just as sensitive as the rest of the clitoris and that erogenous uh, erectile tissue, once it gets engorged with blood and oxygenated, those nerve endings come online and start registering pleasure in a way that they don't when um, the, any kind of erectile tissue isn't engorged, right. when, it's, when it's not turned on and aroused. In a way, it's sort of like kissing just the corner of someone's mouth the whole time if you're just playing with the clit. Yeah, if you're just playing with the clit, you're missing a whole opportunity of a bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's more erectile tissue in the female body as well, um, which maybe we'll go into in another video. But the basic idea is, um, the way that I like to teach people about the clitoral legs is what I like to call the, the Vulcan <laughs> or the sex geek hand sign, which is, the sex geek hand sign is this. <laughs> so when I'm going to play with somebody's vulva... I can put my palm of my hand up against their pubic mound and my fingers are going to go on either side of the uh, vaginal opening. So basically where the labia of the pussy are or where my fingers are going to be. And so I'm not going for the hole right away, which is a whole other mistake that a lot of people do is we go for the hole too soon. What you want to be doing is playing with the, the clitoral legs and putting gentle but firm pressure on the pubic mound and kind of do this massage kind of technique. It's highly recommended. Or like the finger wave. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so you want to be that person, okay, <laughs> who's playing with the vulva that way. Mm -hmm. And what you end up doing is by using your fingers to put pressure on the labia, you're massaging the clitoral legs underneath. And because the clitoris, until it's really super aroused, for a lot of people, it's so sensitive. Yeah. Um, the palm of your hand is putting firm pressure in kind of a gentle massaging motion, which for most people isn't too much stimulation. Mm -hmm. So try that out. But for this video, know that the clitoris goes back into the body underneath the, pu the pubic bone and that coming down from the clitoris underneath the, behind the labia, um, the, the lips of the pussy, are two little legs of erectile tissue filled with nerve endings, lots of fun. Yes. And you know it's all starting to work really well when you're playing with those <laughs> clitoral legs and your partner starts kind of humping your hand. Because yeah. that means that things are aroused, yes. they're starting to come online, things are starting to feel good. And the reason that we hump is we're flexing our pelvic floor muscles which these uh, erectile tissue comes through. And basically the reason we hump is you're flexing these pelvic floor muscles that are in your, your pelvis, hence pelvic floor, <laughs> um, but you're kind of jerking yourself off from the inside. So when you're doing your, your Spock sex geek gang sign move <laughs> and you're getting it all going and they start humping, yeah. that's how you know. Try it out. Try it out. And get Sherry's book if you can. Yeah. Bye.